in my view, we are at a seminal moment in the history of AI and real-time information. The confluence of generative AI, predictive AI, and an explosion in public data has set the stage for foundational change. At DataMiner, my company, we are trying to transform the future of real-time information. Our company started by pioneering what we call multimodal fusion AI. If you're an individual on the ground seeing an event, taking a picture and publishing it in social media, you're recording that event in digital data. If a sensor on a ship detects it veering off course, that is recording an event in digital data. If a plane transponder in the sky goes dark all of a sudden again, these events are recorded in digital data. The events discovered by data miner today pixelate the world, discovered in text in 150 languages, image, video, sound, and audio streams, data miner detects events first, on average five hours ahead of the Associated Press. And if you look here, really at a, at a scope and granularity never before possible in human history. Our AI platform is relied on today by the world's governments and corporations. To give you a sense, the Department of Defense, NATO, 100 different government organizations in the United States, 20 international governments, the United Nations in 100 uh, different countries relying on our AI platform, two-thirds of the Fortune 50, half of the Fortune 100, and leading AI companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA all rely on our AI. And that's because we do something with AI that others can't do. We don't just plug into one of these multi-purpose AI APIs that everyone is plugging into and trying to build generative AI. We've built our own foundation models, our own LLMs that are trained and customized on a data asset that only we have. We have an archive of all events that our AI platform has detected over the last 12 years. And that is the key to unlocking the value we can deliver. All of that has brought about what we announced earlier today, which is a new form of generative AI called Regen AI. That is the first generative AI that automatically regenerates in real time. Now I'm going to show you an example of this to bring it to life. So when the ship tragically hit the bridge in Baltimore last month, data miner was the first to detect it, about an hour ahead of all mainstream media sources. And our clients, who were first responders and corporations, were able to use that signal to respond and, and save lives. But our clients don't just need to know an event is happening. They need to know how it's evolving. They need to know the impacts. And Regen AI solves that. Here you see Regen AI in action. We are creating live event briefs that use generative AI to dynamically update themselves. We are using predictive AI to detect developments in events from more than one million public data sources and fusing those together in real time to formulate and reformulate live event briefs. In a way, we're moving beyond the prompt paradigm of generative uh, AI, and we are creating an AI that is describing and re-describing the real-time world as it unfolds. I'm going to show you another example. This is DataMiner's AI platform working end-to-end. -end. When the Wagner Group attempted a coup on Russia, the event started with eyewitnesses posting video, text, and images of a, of a reported strike on their campsite. Dataminer's AI platform first detected this pattern in public data. Our generative AI then described this event, bringing it to life. As you can imagine, public data fragments, text, image, video, sound, is very hard to understand. So generative AI provides a translation mechanism for our users to actually understand what's going on and take action. But Regen AI, which we just launched, takes this to a new level. With Regen AI, 
we're able to follow the event as it transpires. As the Wagner Group marched into Russia and ultimately towards Moscow, our Regen AI was the new front line of information. Our AI platform synthesized and fused together interim developments as they were happening and populated a live dynamic event brief, formulating and reformulating as an event unfolded. This is real-time information in the age of AI reimagined. We are moving beyond the limitations of a static event report and creating the first true form of live information, always current, always updated. At DataMiner for the last 12 years, we have been working on pushing the boundaries of real-time information, of AI, and of, of public data. And we now have an AI platform that spans predictive AI, generative AI, and regenerative AI. But in my view, we've only scratched the surface of what these technologies allow. For data miner, as we move forward, we have ambitions to use Regen AI to not only describe the real-time world in these new types of ways I just showed, but also to try to use generative AI to describe what might happen next. Our ambition now is to use Regen AI to not only bring to life and describe the past and the present, but also try to use generative AI to describe the potential future. That's all. <laughs>